So here you have it, guys. It's the Retribution Paladin, and not too excited about these changes. Um, and I'll explain why as we end up going through. You're still limited on mobility. The mount thing that they've got set in to increase uh, Divine Steed to increase your speed to get away from stuff, still broken. It's not working for most of the stuff. So it's really hard to get out of situations that you nor most classes can. Um, you'll see I'll try and use this thing and it doesn't allow me to mount up. It just basically says F you. You're not going anywhere. And that's fine, I guess. They'll work the bugs out on it, but currently it's still doesn't work so what's changed guys um you still have crusader strike you still have judgment templars verdict divine storm uh all of this stuff's the same and then you have sword of the righteous which is a new ability and this new ability basically it's uh to help build holy power um it does do moderate damage nothing special the but the only two holy power builders that you have currently are going to be crusader strike and the sword of the Ju uh, righteous what i believe i'm naming that right i'm not 100 percent sure guys uh that, but i believe it's called sword of the righteous and crusader strike builds one holy power per time you swing and then sword of the righteous on a uh eight second cooldown i believe it is it's going to it well it's going to give you two holy power now the way that they have this set up they've completely reworked the mastery system and the mastery itself is called divine judgment the reason for this, it's all based around your judgment. Judgment no longer gives any holy power, but what it does, uh, your mastery increases the damage that judgment does, and it also puts a debuff on the mob that increases how much damage your holy power spenders are going to do. This new gameplay style is basically making it to where you're going to want to pull up 4 to 5 holy power, hit judgment and then spend it on your abilities um really kind of a different setup all the way through and through and even after going through and kind of trying to master this i had a lot of issues with getting this thing to perform well on damage I, it did not want to do it um you still it, it seems like the main thing that they want rep to be right now is the only buff giver um you're allowed to put up to three of your blessings out and you still have might which has been changed you have kings which has changed and you have wisdom that's been changed wisdom's going to give health and mana every 15 seconds i believe not a lot but it, it still ends up helping out kings does an absorption shield every so often and then might is a damage buff every uh holy damage every now and then onto your abilities as you can tell not a lot of special stuff coming out of those buffs um you can still talent to where you've got a whole uh not holy word but the uh, the heal that we're used to having guys and it it's a little different um it does a decent healing but what you're looking at with that healing is it's an aoe for people around you uh, not nearly enough healing to end up doing anything, but it seems more like Retribution is a support class now. Very, very, very supportive. And that is about all that it's really good for, um, unfortunately. The artifact ability, it is, uh, that doesn't even have a cool animation to it right now. But basically, you're supposed to throw your sword down, it does like a, an AoE deal, and it does okay damage it's not a lot by any means it's another a instant cast aoe ability on a 45 second cooldown starting to see this repeat a lot through different classes and it's not as special as you really would hope it would be um again your whole point on this for dps what you're doing is just you're building up your holy power you're trying to get it maxed out without over capping you're going to use judgment and then you're going to use your holy power spenders and trying and usually you can fit two of them in um with the rotation before the debuff wears off of the boss you can spec into talents to where it makes judgment not only hit the main target but it'll bounce and hit i believe two or three others 
for an AOE situation, and it lasts the uh, it lasts the full duration of the cooldown now on Judgment. So you can constantly have this ability up, but that's not really how they're looking at you playing single target. That's going to be even more of a damper on your damage. I did try it this way also, and it seemed like I was doing even less. Really tough time, guys, with uh, trying to maintain and actually keep up with other DPS. Hell, there was points in this dungeon to where the healer was out DPSing me, and I was running optimal what I would consider optimal talents and optimal DPS rotation and I just couldn't maintain I could not maintain the damage um, but I could end up what I could do was I was able to make sure everything was interrupted I was able to keep people healed uh, where the discipline priest had problems and a lot of different support roles very weird coming out of a DPS itself I mean it was very uncomfortable knowing that I was not able to end up doing anything with damage but I was able to help keep people alive which was nice but at the same time it was very very rough as a DPS knowing that you're not going to be on top no matter how well you play this thing it, it hurts that's not what you're here for you're here for damage you're a damage dealer you're that's what you're for and it's not happening Currently, it is 100%. It's crap, guys. I mean, even running through and keeping judgment up when I needed, um, you know, so I could get the holy power spenders to do that extra damage, it just wasn't enough. I had to basically play support to end up getting through these dungeons because I just couldn't do enough damage. And it that that's painful. Very, very painful. Um, also, not having your speed increase work that was a pain in the ass just because hey when you gotta get the hell out of something and you go to hit it and it's broken still I know they're gonna fix it but currently it was just very hard to end up getting anything done um you still have probably some of some of the best stunning capabilities out there so that's always nice you do have a uh, avenging wrath still on a two minute cooldown so you can pop wings and go to town but unfortunately that town is a very small one it still doesn't do enough on your damage going through and checking logs afterwards it really didn't seem to buff up too much and that's unfortunate um, even with uh, like time warp it didn't seem to feel like enough now this will change drastically very drastically once the haste is increased um, I see haste still being very good because it does reduce the cooldown time on your abilities still uh, I think every specs running this now to where certain abilities are gonna be adjusted by haste on your basic abilities really nice really helpful and hopefully when once the haste gets up there a little higher this will play a lot differently um, but it looks like haste and crit are gonna be more beneficial than mastery just for overall damage because of the way that it's playing with building the holy power um, tossing your judgment out and then using your holy power spend spenders uh, which is Templar's Verdict or Divine Storm that's gonna be a huge difference in gameplay and hope I really really hope that once it gets some haste once it gets some crit this does take off because currently it is very very low um, it's very slow on the gameplay unless you choose abilities that reduce the cooldowns to kind of adjust for the haste loss but even there guys um, hopefully just hopefully this will play out nice and uh, we'll get some extra damage buffs but currently Rhett is feeling very very weak in comparison to a lot of the other plate DPS and if you check out any of my other videos I'm usually pretty excited about the plate DPS but this one is by far not good right now unfortunately and it's because of the low numbers uh, the new change they've got you in basically all mastery gear and it's not enough it feels like you need to end up having some haste fidgeting through guys I only got about four percent haste on this thing but hopefully you enjoyed this you got a little insight thank you again and as always thanks for watching